guys, now let's learn about the subcutaneous injection. There are different routes of giving the medication, oral, um, IV, intramuscular, and subcutaneous injection. First of all, why we choose this route? It is mainly because the adipose tissue, the subcutaneous tissue has a poor blood supply and we want any medication that is given subcutaneously to be delivered slowly over the prolonged period of time for the sustained supply of the medication and for, uh, for the prolonged and effective treatment of certain medications. The medication that we normally use for subcutaneous are vaccines are given through this route. Insulin is very, very common, you might have seen. And uh, low molecular weight heparin is one of the examples that is given almost every day to all the patients who are above 16 um, and they are hospitalized. So it is very important that um, you give the medication on time, first of all and should follow the standard protocol. It is very sterile and clean procedure. You need to make sure that you do not give any infection to the patient. So when you want to give this medication, when number one, if they are hospitalized, number two, you might need to give the training to the patients when they are going home, like the patients who are going to be discharged on insulin or low molecular weight heparin. It is important that you explain to them. Sometimes you may be asked by your nurse colleague if they're junior, they might need a bit of help about learning uh, the subcutaneous injection. So I'm going to teach you, first of all, the reason is uh, given, uh, this is given for the sustained delivery of the medication. You need to use a sterile syringe every time you inject any medication to the patients and you need to clean the surface area as well. So let's talk about the equipment, the patient. There are different places I will show you where you can give the injection. Before that, I just want to show you, say for example, we have this subcutaneous injection syringe and we need to have the gauze piece. We need to have a pair of gloves and the medication that you want to give. Now, where you can give it and what are the ideal places? First of all, it should be given in the areas where the patient has more fat. I'm going to show you a picture of that. Now, you look on this picture, there are several areas, all are marked green, and these are the common areas that can be used to give subcutaneous injections. And it is important after you completed that, you encircle the, point, the place where you've given the injection. Before you give the injection, it is important that you prepare the medication, check the expiry of the medication, and take a new syringe, a pair of gloves, and alcohol wipe to clean. Make sure that you have explained the reason why you want to give this medication to the patient and also look for the appropriate place. The important thing that you want to look for that there is no signs of infection or inflammation that includes any redness. Ask the patient if they have any pain in that place and also try to change the place every time you give the injection to the patient. So marking this site map is very, very important. Before you give the next dose, have a look on the site map. Now, I'm going to show you how you can give it appropriately without causing any infection to the patient. Thank you. Let's come here. Say, for example, we have this patient. Wear your gloves. <clears throat> and look for the appropriate place and we have prepared say for example the medication 
check the expiry of the medication make sure if you are in the hospital especially if uh, you are teaching to any nurse colleague uh, they should check the expiry and they should get it signed by one of the colleague as well take the appropriate dose of the medication ideally the vial should be cleaned take the appropriate dose and remove any air that you can see put the cover back on ideally we should change the needle and um, then inject you should not use the same needle as you used uh, the one that you used to take the medication okay look for the redness or any ulcer or anything ask the patient if they have any pain so do not use that place okay clean it in a circular fashion for 30 seconds ideally moving away from the center and then hold the skin about two inches between the thumb and the index finger and Hold the syringe like you hold a dart or a pencil. Pinch the skin in between your thumb and the index finger. Anywhere between 45 and 90 degrees is the most appropriate place. Okay, warn the patient of the sharp scratch. Inject and then you inject the medication and remove it rub it gently and cover the patient thank the patient and go and document in the patient's notes and also make sure that you sign and you mark the site map of the patient every time when you come for the next injection look for any signs of infection and inflammation do not give the injection in that area thank you